again. And I wasn't that easy. I cussed him out, blah, blah, blah. He admitted it was the girl upstairs that lived in that old building when they had just moved from. Remember what we did it at? And they was moving out. So we still had the keys, blah, blah, blah. The girl lived upstairs. She was one of those girls that may have been a year or two under us. But she was fast. And he did it with her while I thought he was waiting on me. He was waiting on me, all right. But he just wasn't waiting for me and not doing nothing with somebody else. So that's when I learned. As things like this I experienced in life, you learn to ask the right questions. So if they lie, you can't, and they can't say that you did not ask. You can't just say, do you got a girlfriend? Or are you married? Mm -mm. You can't say that. You got to break it down. You got to be like, are you intimate with somebody? You know what I'm saying? Because whether they're married or not, they might not claim. I'm married. I ain't claiming that. <laughs> I ain't. <laughs> but that's another story for another day. So at the end of the day, I cussed him first. I didn't trust him. So when I did finally do it, I had condoms, of course. And I just kept dishing and taking the creams and stuff like that. It took a long time for me to get rid of that, y'all. Because then we're talking about, like I said, 84, 85, somewhere from there. And we didn't have all that stuff. So I told the doctor, and he told me just to keep dishing and keep trying to take the pill. Because he said, you can't crush it up because, right, I told you, I threw it up. But eventually it did clear up, and I had was tested before, and it was gone. It just took a longer time. And I was taking it. That could have been very, very dangerous, you know, waiting. It could have turned to something else. But, see, I wasn't fast out there. And I, after that, I might have did it maybe. I'm going to say, because we was together two years. I'll say we did it maybe four more times after that. You know what I'm saying? Before we actually broke up, broke up. Because I, uh-uh. I didn't leave him alone. I, I kind of felt guilty for making him wait. So, 58-year-old me would tell 16-year-old me, or the first time, me being at the age I was, going on 17, to have sex with somebody, I would tell myself, you don't owe nobody nothing. Okay? You can't trust nobody to tell you the truth about nothing. So you got to protect you. So if you're going to do it, whether you want to do it, and I hope that you will do it because you want, you want it. <laughs> protect yourself. Make them use condoms, creams, so on and so forth. Not no pulling out. You cannot trust no man or no woman to tell you the exact hundred percent truth about what they're doing and how they actually feel if they're lying about somebody else and all that. So that would be the main thing I tell myself. To make sure you want to do it, you do your research, you figure it out. Nobody can tell you nothing. The same way that I am now and have been for a long time, I wish I would have been at 16. But I was normal. That's normal for a 16-year-old. You don't know nothing. You're learning this thing called life. You're figuring it out. You're peer pressure. Your mama ain't telling you shit. And if she did, you probably wouldn't listen no way. Talk to y'all later.